Hi, this is a tutorial on uh, batching sky swaps. So there's two ways that, that uh, you can do it. Um, so one way is apply to all, which I think I made a video on, but let me just cover that again. So open up your images in Photoshop. So I already have an external profile, a profile that I have specific settings on my UN saturation and levels to adjust my skies. I'm using uh, the puffy cloud skies. Uh, so with those settings, I made a new profile called externals and that's the skies that we're gonna use. So apply to all, you uh, all your images that you have in Photoshop. Once you up click on apply to all, you'll notice that the button turns blue. So now if I click it, it's going to run through everything. So let's click it. Okay, so now we just need to do cleanup. Uh, so you can hold down Alt or Option and then left click on the mask, then you'll see this black and white. Um, so one way that you can do it is take your eraser tool and you can just like, just brush all this gray, turn all that into black. If you wanna go in a straight line, you can click on one end and hold then shift and then click on the other end like that or you can use your burn tool on shadows and exposure 100% is fine then just burn that that way the burn tool protects you uh, protects you if you're on shadows then brushing over to the white doesn't really do anything because we're targeting shadows um, so that's one safe way to go. Or you can use the lasso tool, the polygon lasso tool, and then just select around the white and then just brush it or use your uh, eraser tool. Or you can fill it with backspace. Um, let's go to another image. So what you can also do is you can take your object selection tool and then just drag around the house then you can press backspace like that backspace but be careful not to do it by the trees because then you'll get something like that okay so that's basically how you can batch your um, skies uh, your skies with your with your new version and inside of Photoshop but then another way that you can do it is let's first separate our externals from the internals so make a new folder uh, i'm just going to take this name here so i'm just going to name this ext and then the address take all my externals and drag it in there go to photoshop go to batch tools batch processor and then we'll leave that on. I'll leave that on 10. And I'm gonna choose my external profile. And we're going to add quick swap. So now quick swap's in the list. Now we need to go and browse for our folder. And that's the right address. Now we're gonna go inside of this one. There we go, now select folder. So now it gets added to the process list. So we're just going to tick on that and then run. So you can queue as many jobs here as you want. In the other batch tutorial, I cover it a bit more using different jobs, different processes and different profiles. In this one, we're just doing skies. Now you run it. I should have actually used less images for this tutorial.
So here you can kind of see when you're dealing with single images, then you can see uh, image three out of six. But I don't, I think we had some issues when we're dealing with um, the merging with multiple exposures. So I don't think you see that. that's done close take out your batch tools batch processor and then you can just export that job you can either click this download button or you can download all but I just have the one so I'll just go there I'll just save this over here okay so here we have our PSDs and our JPEGs I'll just open all the PSDs then from here you can just do your touch-ups hope you guys found this tutorial helpful uh, if you have any questions you guys can join the slack group or message me on Facebook but I prefer the slack group that's more active um, and we can then do maybe do a screen share till next time bye guys